always wondered what it would be like to live in a tiny home. Because that lifestyle matches my minimalist philosophy. I wanted to have that experience. So last year, I started searching and I found this cute, custom-designed home. I immediately fell in love. I could feel its creative, artistic energy. I decided to sell my home, I bought this place, and this last year has been quite an explorative journey. I've learned a lot, and I've documented my experiences. Now, my life has changed. I've decided to buy a new home, so I have to let this one go. I was thinking of going ahead and selling it, but many of my friends in the deaf community encouraged me to find a way to keep this place within the deaf and deaf artist community. It's actually the perfect place for an artist retreat or for a writer or filmmaker to get inspired and channel their creativity. So I thought I'd involve the community to see if you all have any ideas about how we can keep this place within our community. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to live here. Thank you for watching, and if you have any ideas, please let me know.